here is a case of large stone volume 4 cm maximum diameter primary rrs with fans suction method normally these type of stones we are doing pcnl not usually attempt rrs never days after doing 15 years but however after the suction has come when the patient is on stent when the stone volume is large also we have a feeling that we can suck the fragments like in mini perk this is supra costal puncture we have to do so that can be avoided is the intention see the ct reconstructed picture how high but this is a good access to the flexible access sheath as well as the flexible scope so volume is definitely high access sheath has gone up to the upper calyx see the bifid system anyway sometimes uh, pcl can cause bleeding but here little edema was there just below it is the access sheath like in pcnl only thing is that ureter should be accommodable it is very much accommodable with this experience of 15 years we say that whether ureter will damage or not you have to assess in the beginning only see every fragment comes out like in pcnl almost is like mini perk so you are just keeping at the upper pole in fundiblum you continue to do fragments not powder that is a change 1 joule 15 hertz whether it is homium laser or thulium fiber laser that will fragment all you need to do is 40 cm you have to come out that is little tedious job but with patience it can come the irregular shape of the access sheath is because of the uh, repeated usage ideally they are disposable one should keep an eye on that but here that was not the problem fragments were coming out and uh, the slowly the volume decreases inside the kidney faster because the fragments are evacuated immediately uh, too much powder by constantly previously we used to do and the powder used to come by that uh, by itself now that need is not there so approximately this will be more than uh, 1800 uh, Uh, centimeter cubic uh, will be there uh, mm cubic will be there in volume such high volume in the upper calyx uh, there are usual problems of the pcl in upper calyx uh, especially when the patient has come with uh, mildly increased creatinine diabetic uh, then we should be little careful this procedure mainly advantage is utilization of suction so every every bacteria or the powder which releases from the stone inside will be immediately sucked out within 1 uh, minute unlike previous uh, only water from the peri scope uh, comes out during that time intrarenal pressure may raise here you are forcibly sucking it out so chances of intrarenal pressure will be less Uh, slowly these procedures are last 6 uh, months uh, uh, many senior people are adapting to this procedure so i attempted after a long time large volume stone see these are all fragments normally you have to do popcorn where temperature will raise here i am using popcorn but with suction that means the water is coming out immediately the moment it gets heated up so chances of uh, see entire uh, uh, calyces upper calyx uh, bifid system is uh, getting cleared if at all any disadvantage of this procedure if you cannot see the stone with flexible scope then you cannot do it then you have to depend on the pcnl but once the stone is seen in rirs a post stented patient when the access sheath is there well in the calyx then there is a uh, Uh, no problem see all the powder is getting sucked again one more stone is seen here so if you if you do primary rirs without suction probably it will take more time and if you don't do stent in these patients uh, chances of fever is also high i personally feel as of now this uh, flexible and navigable access sheath is more useful if the ureter is accommodable very well Uh, to the 10 by 12 french and uh, if you can see all these stones and if you can pulverize to the uh, small fragments they can be easily sucked out and uh, all the powder which has gone into the other calyces also can be sucked out so that in the visual inspection only we can clear entire pcs uh, and then stone free rate will be much better so the intrarenal pressure raise small fragments retention these are the two major disadvantage of rirs they will be slightly reduce see how much the system has collapsed here then so how much powder has come at the bottom so equal to the volume of the stone 
so think uh, the suction with uh, a navigable sheath definitely has a role if at all you are planning for large volume stone thank you